We've got a treat for you today. We've raced a BMW M3 against a plane. We've seen the Kia EV6's unrelenting acceleration, but now it's time to see the fastest car this channel has reviewed. The fastest selling car. The Seat Leon lasts an average of 10 days in retailers' forecourts before being sold throughout the UK. Let's find out why. The front of the car's got some really cool racing lines which come down the bonnet and they lead you into the grille. The grille's got a cool matte finish around it and that leads you in towards the handsome headlights on this car really nice detail in the headlights as well. Down the front, the detail around the fog lamp with more of the matte finish makes the front of the Leon proper cool. 18 inch alloy wheel in the car, it's got some really cool detail in it. One of the things I do like, you can see the brake disc and the caliper through the wheel. The door mirror on the side, split. It's got matte finish on the top of it, which takes you back to the surrounding of the grille and the detail at the bottom around the fog light. Proper slick side of the car. Back of the car gives us a really cool roof spoiler which makes it look racy and also helps your aerodynamics as you're driving down any road. Light bar. It's on the love list. We've got a light bar in the back of the Leon and cool lights either side that kind of angle yourself and stick out. The FR logo and the lovely Leon logo in the back. Imagine if that was your name. Your name's actually in the back of the car. How cool could that be? Then we've got a couple of fake exhausts down the bottom. Does that matter? No, because they look brilliant. It's also a little bit of a diffuser down there as well. Now inside here, 380 litres of boot space, all our camera equipment in the boot. Everything we need for one day. Put the seats flat, 640 litres of boot space. And incredibly, this car, the interior, is very, very high standard, very high end. From the digital dash to the 10.25 inch infotainment screen, the comfy leather seats, this car actually has it all. It's got good storage, it's got a couple of USB-C chargers down there beside a wireless charging mat, and it's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in standard across all variants. In this one, we've even wirelessly controlled, which is really, really cool. The infotainment panel, it is exactly what you would want, and then the big talking point comes below that. There's a kind of weird slider thingy for doing the temperature in here. So all you guys and girls with OCD out there, you might struggle a bit just to get it to the absolute perfect degree that you want it to be. But it's a cool talking point and see, I aren't the only manufacturer to do that. <laughs> yeah, amazingly, this isn't the coolest part of the car. With all that tech, we're still gonna get in the back. It's super spacious in the back of this car, it really is, and it's comfortable. Good legroom, good headroom, happy here. And for passengers travelling the back of this car, you've got another two USB-C chargers there and your own dual climate control for your own temperature in the back. And look at this. There's even a drinks holder in the middle seat. So for any parents out there, you can keep the kids glued and happy to their iPads, giving you a little bit of peace and quiet while you drive. And if there's any babies, well, don't worry. We've got Isofix as well. If they are part of the Volkswagen Group, that means the car must share some similarities to the Lamborghini and a Porsche. So does it drive like one? No, not really. But don't let that deter you. It's still quick and nimble, quick enough to be in the realm of hot hatches. And it has added bonuses, which you don't get with a Lamborghini or the Porsche supercar. And that is practicality. The Leon proves it can hold its own in this field. Not to 62 in 8.7 seconds, and it delivers 150 brake horsepower. Not to mention the handling. On this little FR model that we've got here, it can let you tackle the country twisty roads with great ease. With minimal body roll and often exceptional grip, it means you're going to be hugging the roads tight. In other words, no sliding around in this car for you. See, it has a great history with motorsport, especially rallying. In their early career, they took 11 rally championships. But their biggest achievement in rallying was getting three back-to-back -back FIA World Rally Championships. They then moved into World Touring Cars in the 2000s with the actual Leon itself and took back-to-back -back World Championships in that car. So as you can see, the DNA is very much motorsport orientated. And you can still feel it today in this car, the Leon that we drive. Great piece of machinery. 
I was driving sets way back in 2006 and you could almost push the fast forward button, come forward 20 years. And where are we now? Well, the Leon feels exactly the same. It feels improved actually. It's always a great steering, great brakes and a great feel for the road. And that's what you get. It offers a good dynamic drive, something that's really positive, but gives you a big smile as well. They've just not got it wrong. Don't change see it. Don't ever change. Now don't you worry, because see it have got everybody covered in this. If you're a person who drives in the city and that's what you do all the time, there's a plug-in hybrid that you can get for this. So that's that covered. Low emission zones, tick. We've got diesel for people who might do loads of miles on the motorway and like to have a diesel car. And we've also got plenty of options of petrol as well. But don't be put off the petrol for your motorway mileage. Driving out here today, we were averaging way up in the high 40s, almost into the 50s for miles per gallon. See it? I've got you covered. Okay, it's fast and it drives well, but I've got two kids in the back. So why is this the fastest selling car in the UK? I'm glad you asked. The car has an official WLTP of 48 miles per gallon, alongside a 45 litre fuel tank, which will cost you round about 67 pounds to fill and a 400 mile range. Not only that, but it falls under the insurance bracket of 22E, meaning you won't be paying over the odds for your insurance. And to top it all off, you get this stunning car for only £27,000. And with over 20,000 new and used vehicles to choose from at Arnold Clark, we have the best deal guaranteed for you. Let's talk about the practicalities of the Leon. You know that I like the back. There's lots of room in the back, lots of headroom, lots of legroom, that's what you want. But when I'm in the front, well, I like it. It doesn't feel like I'm in an SUV. It doesn't feel too wide. Although when you look at the car from the outside, it does look quite long, but it has got longer. But the seat's nice, it hugs me. The steering wheel's great, it fits my hands perfectly, and I feel like I'm in a bit of a sports car. 380 litres of boot space. If that's not enough for you and you want more, you can buy the estate version, which comes with 640 litres of boot space. Lots of room for shopping bags, or prams, or buggies, for kids, or golf clubs. Families are going to love this car. You can quite easily fit five people in here with everything that five people need. You can even fit a dog in the spacious boot. School bags, handbags, whatever else that means. So that's all taken care of. Now let's the parents sit in the front in comfort and enjoy the view of the window. The Leon comes packed with safety features for you as well. It's got front and rear cameras, it's got lane assist, it's got lane depart, it comes with blind spot detection, and it's also got a five star Euro NCAP rating. So you're in safe hands when you're behind the wheel of a seat in this Leon. Fake exhausts, yes or no? What's it for you? Do you like them or would you rather not have them? Give me some comments in the box below because in Duncan land, fake exhausts are cool because the make of the car make the back of it just look that little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And I like that. But let me know in the box below, please. Okay, here at Arnold Clark, we've given you the speed hump challenge, but we're going to take it another step further. Everything's got to evolve. This is the cattle grid challenge. <laughs> that was actually okay. Again? Yay! So if you're not sold in the Leon, here's something that I could maybe give you a little nudge towards. So it's in the same kind of category as an Audi A3 or the Skoda Octavia that we had in a group test. Why would I rather go for the Seat? Couple of reasons. I feel for this car, I like the size of it. They've increased the length by about 80 millimetres and they put all that in the back. So your passengers are getting proper comfort. But the overall car is still smaller than the Skoda. And I just feel you get more bang for your buck than the Audi. Audi maybe a little bit more premium, but I'm not, not about that. I'm about the feel, I'm about the driving experience. And for me, the Seat wins that one. I'm loving being back in the Leon. It's a car that's got a little bit of everything and it goes under the radar. I can't stress how fun and practical this car actually is. But here you go. If you think it's for you, last bit of advice, act fast. Do it now, because there's a reason why these cars sell so fast. 
I've been Duncan Vincent. This has been the Arnold Clark YouTube channel. Like and subscribe and give us some comments and feedback in the box below. And until next time, safe driving in my Leon.